Okay. Uh, there's a crack on this. Can you see that crack right there? Not the end of the world. I'm not going to leave it that way, though. I totally... I'm not going to leave it that way because there's a big reason. Over time, this thing gets dropped and bounced on the ground. Pop, pop, pop. Uh, you run the danger of it cracking even more. And that's why we don't like the cracks in the tops of the wood. We don't like cracked wood because it's just asking to pop and break. Now, I did wax this thing. Uh, but I've heard Hawthorne is a very tricky wood. And the bigger problem was it was also taken during the summertime of uh, 2021. I've given it about nine months to try. Problem I'm running into though, it's gonna crack. Now, I'm not too worried about this one, because I'll glue it. I'm not gonna just leave that glue to what I'll do. I'll, uh, I'll glue the crack, let the glue sit in there. You want to let it sit in there for like a couple minutes and then sand it, make sawdust of it, sand it and let it dry, and then you can sand it smooth and you won't ever notice that crack. That will also, when it drops, the glue will be there to support it. Because the glue, if you use good quality glue like Typhon, a really good professional wood glue, you won't have that problem. So, I'm going to drill it now. I think I got the spot where I'm going to drill it. And then I'm going to get into doing another hand card video like I did with Larry's walking stick. So, let's get on with this.
open this up here. I'm gonna do most of it off camera. And then I'm gonna come along with the Dremel tool and carve out the pattern. I'm gonna carve, there's a kitty. He's another kitty. <laughs> okay. She is all carved. I'm at the glue it in place tonight. I'm at the glue the top part right here. I'm at the glue that. So, after it's for now. sees me all the time. this thing I meant to do the same thing I did with that one how to make a plain walking stick I'm gonna have to finish it with oil let it cure and build up a coating on it and then I'm gonna have to knock back the loose fibers it takes a long time right, I'm gonna finish this up and then uh, I'm not gonna go through the process just showing you the finished product maybe it'll be in a future video like on my vlog you can see the finished product it's snowing like crazy. You can you can see it probably coming down. Uh, but I'm gonna finish up walnut oil. I have it in a closet. I gotta put down some paper here because I don't want to do it out in the middle of the snow and have the snow hit my walnut oil. So let me set it up and then we'll get done. All right, this is what I'm gonna use. I'm just gonna use it straight out of the jar just because I want to save some time. I got a few things to do. I mean, this is my day four on this thing. Uh, it's gonna be a long haul. And I put lemon oil and orange oil in there. In fact, I gotta run over to Seabirds today and see if they got some lemon essential oil. Hoping they do, I'm gonna have to buy some. Why not put the lemon oil and orange oil in it? Well, it helps preserve the oils. And, you know, it's a cleaner, but it's also a preservative. It helps with like a little bit of UV resistance, stuff like that. So I'm gonna move this in just a tad. I don't have a way of doing it, but it's winter time. Okay, let's take a look. Uh, let's take a look at her. It's 
those coming down like crazy too. So I'm gonna I'm gonna finish this up. I'm gonna keep oiling it inside. And by summertime comes around, I'm gonna build the coating by sticking it outside and let it sit in the sun. Uh, I do have some thickened walnut oil that I might use mixed in with the, the regular oil there. But what I want, this is the unrefined. I was using the refined on the eucalyptus and we'll walk it sticking before. I was using the refined walnut oil. And it works, but. I don't use something that's unrefined. So, you see the little, see that little speck? The camera might not pick it up. You see it now? See it right there? Uh, the only way I can get that removed, I gotta get the oil cured on this, on the outside, where it's like hardened in the wood. So I'll let it cure. And then finish it. But for now, this video is done. This is my first Hawthorne walking stick I have ever made. It's almost 60 inches long. First Hawthorne stick I've ever made. <sighs> wasn't fun. It wasn't it was very pain in the neck to keep this thing from cracking when you try it. So I'm out.